The International Space Station has been discovering various mysterious things. This time, a huge 3,000 miles wide object has been discovered. Though it's not confirmed, scientists believe something exists and speculate it to be another life in our solar system. The discovery of a terrifying new object cutting through our solar system has sparked excitement in the astronomy community. Its trajectory indicates that it came from interstellar space, making it the first body of its kind ever discovered. Today's video shows you all about terrifying objects and their discoveries in the early years, suggesting it to be true. Remember to subscribe to our channel to never miss out on more videos like this. Here we begin. When it was discovered, astronomers assumed it was a comet and named it C-2017U1. Observations revealed that the fast-moving object, unlike comets, didn't have a tail of dust and gas. Instead, its image appeared slightly stretched because of its rapid movement across the sky. What is this thing? The initial announcement contains data from 10 observatories, each with its own team of astronomers. These observatories would have been privately notified of the unusual detection and asked to provide confirming observations. This is a common practice to avoid making a false announcement about the discovery of an object when the orbit is significantly different than expected. A2017U1 was designated by the International Astronomical Union. It's not the most romantic name in the world, but it's fascinating. The name A2017U1 is some sort of code that describes the object. For example, A is asteroid, year by weekly period U, and the number 1 indicates this is the first ever object in this class in 2017. In reality, this is the first ever direct observation of an interstellar asteroid by humans. Asteroids a large surplus of material, debris, remains from the early stages of planetary systems formation and is not taken up by major planets. The asteroid belt is our solar system's closest accessible remnant of such debris. However, the asteroid belt represents a tiny fraction of the debris produced by a typical planetary system. We can see rings of billions of debris particles when we look out at nearby stars appearing to form planetary systems such as Epsilon Eridani. These dusty debris rings are merely remnants of the original material. Why is there so much trash? With their massive gravity, giant planets collide with each other, scattering and injecting billions of smaller objects. As a result, some of the material in our solar system forms objects orbiting the Sun at distances ranging from 10,000 to 100,000 astronomical units. According to the physics of planet formation, many billions of small objects are formed for each object the size of Pluto. Regardless, these small objects can be kept in distant orbits or completely ejected from the gravitational pull of a star. Once ejected, they become free-floating planetary mass objects that drift through our galaxy, if 80,000 km per hour is considered drifting. The existence of free-floating planets created in orbit and around a star that were then ejected has long been debated. However, the discovery of such planetary mass objects floating through space provided the first direct evidence for their existence. Discovery and Origins of A2017U1 The PANSTARS, Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response Systems Sky Survey, is intended to detect and track objects in a collision course with our planet. PANSTARS surveys the sky every few nights and has discovered thousands of asteroids in our solar system, both near and far. One aspect of the mission is to notify facilities and the Earth's population if an object with a high likelihood of impacting the Earth is detected. Every morning, the massive data volumes produced by PANSTARS are searched and alerts to interesting discoveries are sent out to the global community. After being alerted via Twitter, Dr. Joe Massiero of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory had the 5 meters or 200-inch HAIL telescope at California's Mount Palomar Observatory trained on the object within hours of the announcement. The first draft of an article describing his observations was published online two days later. These preliminary measurements are rough as the weather didn't cooperate, but showcase that the object is red in color similar to Kuiper Belt members but not the much closer asteroid belt. Combined with the asteroid's trajectory, these facts point to an interstellar origin. However, one thing we're left to ponder is the origin of this object's journey to our region of space. The trajectory rules out the possibility that this object originated in our solar system. Instead, this is a natural interstellar spaceship, a visitor from another star. Months later, a second interstellar object was seen streaking through our solar system in September. 
According to most estimates, our galaxy is a busy place. Given its hundreds of billions of stars, each accompanied by rolling planets, asteroids, comets, and other objects, one would expect objects to be flung into interstellar space on occasion. After discovering the first one in 2017, astronomers believe they have discovered another outcast roaming the space between the stars. However, it may linger a little longer, providing unprecedented scientific opportunities. The MPC, Minor Planet Center at the Center for Astrophysics at the Smithsonian Institution in Harvard University, has given the object the provisional designation C2019Q4 Borisov. Gennady Borisov discovered it on August 30th using a homemade telescope in Crimea. Borisov is an amateur astronomer who searches the skies for undiscovered comets around the Sun in our solar system. Since the amateur and professional comet hunters, Oumuamua have been looking for another unbound object from our star, which means moving fast enough to escape the Sun's gravitational clutches. Following Borisov's discovery, astronomers used larger telescopes, including those at observatories in Hawaii and the Canary Islands, to obtain additional images of C2019Q4 while refining its orbital characteristics with computer models. According to the most recent data, the object has numerous kilometers across as well as hurtling into the inner solar system at around 30 kilometers per second. Its projected path is highly eccentric, resembling an open curve rather than a circle. When the speed and trajectory are combined, they strongly suggest that C2019Q4 is not bound to our Sun. It'll come closest to that star on the 8th of December at a distance of 1.7 astronomical units, or AU. It made the closest approach to Earth on December 28th, coming within 2 AU of our planet. After only a few weeks to study Oumuamua on its outbound leg during the one-way trip around the Sun, astronomers are overjoyed at having more time to study a visitor from another star. As a result, a slew of observations is already in the works as C2019Q4 is ahead of its journey through the solar system. Aside from being on its way into the solar system, one of the reasons 2019Q4 is more visible is that it is brighter than Oumuamua, about six times brighter according to current estimates. This brightness, combined with the visible tail of outgassed material expanding from the object, suggests it is an interstellar comet instead of the less active Oumuamua. Because it's a real comet, we'll be able to get spectra of the coma, what molecules are outgassing from it, the relevant abundances of different elements like carbon and oxygen, and really get a detailed survey of a planetary building block from an alien solar system, says Yale University's Gregory Laughlin. We could even detect water signatures on the object, according to Laughlin. There might be a chance to trace it back to its origin. It's also worth noting that this discovery was made by an amateur astronomer. We've seen no significant change in our observational techniques since the detection of Oumuamua, so C2019Q4's discovery was a fluke, according to Laughlin. After more observations, the International Astronomical Union will decide on C2019Q4 status as truly interstellar. If they say it's interstellar, it's interstellar, Queen's University Belfast's Michelle Bannister says. However, Bannister notes that the observations are pretty solid. Astronomers are already clamoring for more time to study it with the planet's most powerful telescopes. Unfortunately, the object is too close to the Sun for telescopes like Hubble to safely observe it. Still, all eyes will be on this enigmatic visitor trundling past, carrying all the secrets of another solar system. There'll be a lot of very exciting opportunities. What do you think about the terrifying discoveries by the International Space Station in our solar system? Do you believe some interstellar life exists? Share with us in the comments below.